Good afternoon and welcome to my studio. For the next 30 minutes, we will together enjoy our first session of the exploration of the fine arts. I'm Dr. Michael Sulo, and I will be your guide and host. Over the next six meetings, we will visit and examine the permanent collections of the finest art museums in the state of Connecticut. To begin with, We'll visit the most extensive collection of British art found outside of the British Isles, the Yale Museum of Fine Art. That's in New Haven, Connecticut. Next to the Slater Museum in Norwich, Connecticut, a collection of the world's finest sculpture in replica. Pretty amazing. The Florence Griswold Museum, which was an art colony in the early 20th century in Old Lyme, Connecticut, the Wadsworth Athenaeum, with over 50,000 works of art and a wonderful collection of Hudson River School landscapes in Hartford. The Mystic Seaport Museum, which is the largest maritime museum in the United States, and of course that's in Mystic, and then back to New Haven to the Yale University Museum of Fine Art. This is a portrait of Diana Kirk, who later became the Countess of Oxford. Sir Peter Lilly, the artist, was a leading artist of English Restoration period. Lilly was a master of color and style, and this can be seen clearly in Diana's exquisite clothing. Thank you. 
In this entire museum, this is my favorite portrait that I've seen in this place. They're all wonderful, but this, to me, is very genteel, very, just very beautiful, wonderfully rendered, and she has great personality on her face, and jewelry, and everything that you can expect. And of course, it's uh, very little, who later became uh, Lady Park, and it's by Thomas Gaines. This is a painting by Sir Joshua Reynolds that's left unfinished. In such a painting, artists and art students can examine the painting techniques of Sir Joshua. Another Joshua Reynolds masterpiece shows the actress Miss Arvington dressed to play the role of Miss Prue in the William Congreve's play entitled Love for Love. Frances Arvington was a most admired actress and a star performer in David Garrick's company at the Drury Lane Theatre.
Another Beautiful Portrait by Joshua Reynolds. Reynolds was one of the earliest members of the Royal Society of Arts, and he helped to found the Society of Artists of Great Britain. In 1768, he became the first president of the Royal Academy of Arts, a position he held until his death in 1769. in 1854, entitled For Only One Short Hour, is best described by a quotation from Thomas Hood's poem, The Song of the Shirt, that gives voice to the weary and worn seamstress as she longs for her youth. These animals, painted by Sir Edward Henry Landseer, belong to Prince George III of Cambridge. The group includes a white pony, three falcons, and two dogs. All three kinds of animals would have played an important role in Prince George's training in the gentlemanly activities of riding, hawking, and hunting. Thank you. 
Cupid disguised as a shepherd boy. Gibson produced nine versions of this statue for patrons in America, Britain, and other parts of Europe. This version was commissioned in 1834 by Robert Peel, who later became Prime Minister of England. This view of Turner's masterpiece was painted after his return to London in December of 1817 and was exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1818. It is rumored that Turner paid a sea captain to tie him to the main mast of his ship and sail out into a gale so Turner can experience the ocean. From his experiences on the ocean, Turner's paintings became mighty and beautiful and influenced the later works of the Impressionists. Thank you. 
The Yale Center for British Art is a world-renowned research institute and public art museum. The center offers exhibits and programs including lectures, concerts, films, symposiums, tours, and family days. It is located in the heart of downtown New Haven near many of the city's best restaurants, theaters, museums, and shops. Thank you.